Hello, hi, this is Tracy, and this is a video on copying and managing PC save files in Borderlands 3. Emphasis on actually the managing part. In a minute, I'm going to show you something that's going to make your life a whole lot easier. Now, if you want to duplicate gear, make a mule, or copy a character for other reasons, copying save files is the fastest and easiest way to do that. And it doesn't require co op and getting someone else to host you, you can do it by yourself. And what you do is you navigate to your save file location. And that should be in Documents, uh, My Games, Borderlands 3, Saved, Saved Games. And then there will be a big folder with a big long alphanumeric name. On, open that and you will find all your character save files plus your profile save. Okay, the profile is where the game keeps your bank inventory and your guardian rank info. The big folder, by the way, is the one you want to back up on a regular basis to avoid losing progress if you have corruption issues. Now, all the save file names consist of a whole number followed by .sav. Now, if you want to copy a character, simply select the character's file, copy, and paste it. The copy will be named whatever the original number was, followed by a dash copy .save. Okay? Change the name to a whole number not already in use. There you go. You may need to refresh your load character screen to see the change, but when you do, you will see two files with the same name. Now, you will have to change the character name in-game at the quick change station. Now, as far as managing these files, life will be a whole lot easier if you make sure all your save file numbers have the same number of digits. If you have nine files or few, use one through nine. More than nine, use 10 through 99. More than 100, and don't laugh, I have over 60 so far. Use 100 through 999. Why? Well, if you already have more than 9 characters, you will quickly find out that the order of numbered files in the save file folder do not always match up with the load character screen. This is because of the way the game sorts these files, which is different from the way they are sorted in Windows Explorer. Now, on the left are save file names in Explorer and the actual corresponding character names. Now, Explorer sorts these files in simple numerical order from lowest to highest. The game, however, does not do this. If you call up the load character screen, this example will look like this. The game orders the files this way. The game uses what's called a lexical sort. Lexical sort or lexicographic or lexicographical sorting works differently. The game looks at the first number separately and groups those in numerical order first. Anything that starts with a 1 comes before anything that starts with a 2. 3, 9, etc. Okay. Uh, it then looks at any second digit and sorts on those the same way. Okay. Then I'll look at the third digit, do the same thing. Fourth, if you got a fourth digit, etc. Okay. This can get very confusing very fast, even if you keep track of files on a spreadsheet. Okay. If, however, all the same files use the same number of digits, a numerical sort and a lexical sort will always order numbers the same way. This will make your life a whole lot easier okay uh, one other FYI when you create a new character from scratch in game the game looks at the highest number in the save file folder and gives you the new character save file a number one digit higher using the example on the screen if I created a brand new character from scratch in game the game would give the save file number 62 okay so to recap the most important thing Use the same number of digits for your save file names. Okay, two digits, 11 through 99, you can get a whole bunch of, you know, 90 files maximum. Three digits, you can get up to 900 files that way. And everything will be in the right order. Okay, and that's it. Thanks for watching.